Hello again, this is Apple Employee. I wanted to give you a quick update on the second generation iPod that I reviewed recently. Um, yes, that's my shuffle and the infamous touch. But I'm going to talk about this. I'll review it later. But I was going to talk about this. Um, as you'll remember, the second take of my review of it, the hard drive had kicked on and was acting strange. And I wasn't quite sure what was going on um, and then I mean I knew it was a hard drive problem and I figured that what had happened was the iPod had become too compressed whether or not that's the case will <laughs> pretty much be remained to seen but um, I noticed that yesterday and today it wouldn't turn on and so I figured that the battery must have been dead so I plugged it into the computer and uh, it gave a searching CD icon and a searching folder icon, which basically meant that the hard drive uh, wasn't responding. And that could have meant a myriad of things. Could have meant that the, the, the iPod was completely screwed, or could have meant, you know, that the, the cable, which uh, they have running through the bottom portion, the, the cable connecting the the hard drive to the rest of the unit runs through here very close to where this plastic connects to the metal by teeth and so sometimes if the iPod gets too compressed it will get uh, pinched and it will cut off communication to the rest of the iPod it could have been anything and the first I uh, the second of these iPods that I own uh, which I eventually ended up scrapping uh, and using a part for this which you'll find out later um, pretty much it started off because the, the cable was being uh, hyper compressed however that wasn't the problem but um, I got the uh, folder icon and the CD icon so I cracked it open and uh, by the way don't don't do that at home unless you know what you're doing uh, especially considering it's an iPod um, if you do it wrong you could get electrocuted you could get burned from the lithium ion or lithium polymer battery so don't do it unless you know what you're doing. But anyway, I cracked it open, and on the back panel, I noticed there was some condensation. Now, when I bought the iPod, I suppose it was warmer. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it, the te te temperature has fluctuated a bit, but I didn't expect condensation to start accumulating on the back of the iPod on the inside of this back case. And uh, so that, that got me a little worried, and I smelled it. It smelled kind of like oil. Kind of had a permanent marker, oily smell. And on the back of the battery, there was a little uh, small dent in it where it had kind of pooled. A very small, like a pinpoint. But you could notice the color of the liquid was a dark, inky color. Not oil, but ink. And I took it out. Here it is and it turns out that it was leaking and that's why I have it in this plastic bag you can see right there there's some damage and on the corner I don't know how well you can see it but uh, uh, let's see here right there on that corner right there that's where it's been leaking out and uh, I'm very fortunate because sometimes when batteries leak, it could compromise the hard drive, it could compromise the motherboard. So I got very fortunate. And um, again, with batteries like this, when you take them out, you have to be careful. If they're leaking, you burn yourself. I use tweezers and I wore the proper protection. As you can see, I have it in this bag here. It doesn't appear to be leaking but anymore, but um, it is compromised. And uh, so pretty much I had to go into my old uh, iPod stuff. These are, <coughs> these are the remaining parts of my <laughs> first iPod. You can see I got the 10 gigabyte hard drive, the cable. This is the cable that usually gets pinched. Um, this is the cable that got pinched that connects the hard drive to the rest of the computer. And see this area right here, that flat area, it hooks around underneath like that. See the this part right there is going along the bottom of the iPod. 
This connects to the hard drive, which is just below the battery, these little teeth right here. And whoops. This connects to the motherboard. And, or the logic board, whatever you want to call it. And sometimes, like I said, it'll get pinched, which is what I thought was wrong. Instead. Sorry for the, the shortcut there. Um, but anyway, what I'd, I was wrong. Instead, what happened was the battery was leaking, as you can see there. Um, in terms of if you have to ever have to deal with this inside of an iPod, since they all have either lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries, it's always a good idea to um, dispose of them properly. They are hazardous waste. They do contain acid. Lithium is acid. And um, so I would really recommend that uh, if you have to remove the battery, remove it safely. Um, thankfully, I had extra parts, so I had a way to replace it, but if you can't, there are several uh, outlets that allow you to buy replacement parts, or you can send it into an Apple store and have it recycled. You get 10% off your next iPod purchase. Um, but anyway, the iPod works fine now, as you can see. Oh, backlight, turn on, thank you. The uh, battery's a little low, but that's just because I haven't charged it yet. But, um, so uh, everything's good as new. And uh, if anything happens to your iPod, please feel free to ask me. Um, I'm more than happy to troubleshoot for you. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that's, the, that's the other reason I do these videos, is that um, you know what product you would want to get, and... Uh, if something ever happens to a product, then you'll know, and you'll know how to deal with it. And if you have a specific problem that you need answering, please feel free to ask me. I am a Mac specialist, uh, so I do know pretty much everything there is to know about these. Um, just short of, uh, well, actually no, because I do take these apart, and I do mess with them, which is what Mac geniuses do. I have been, rec I have been recommended for being a Mac genius for knowing so much about these. But anyway, um, so yeah, please feel free to give me any questions you have about this or any other uh, Apple iPod product or maybe even any Apple product. Um, and uh, I will be more than happy to uh, assist you in any way I can. So anyway, thank you for watching this update.